I've actually just used a little box canvas. It's primed, it's 12 by 10 inches. And I put a few blobs of paint on there, some white at the top, some yellow and a little bit of blue to make some green. I'm using a large flat brush. I've also made a Stay Wet palette and I'll put a link in the description below to show you how I made this palette. But basically it stops your acrylics from drying out while you're painting. So I've got this glorious cadmium yellow here and I'm just painting the light at the top. If you look at the photograph, there's lots of warm yellows there. So you could use yellow ochre, raw sienna, buff titanium, a little bit of orange and a tiny touch of blue as well to create a sort of a dullish green. Um, I just want to create a quite an abstract background um, as a backdrop for my daisies. I love painting daisies. They're so much fun. They're quite sort of simple to paint. You can be quite loose with them, which is what I'm going to show you here. It's quite an impressionistic style. As you can see here, I'm really warming up, just painting on my greens. I decided to wipe off a little bit and I'm adding a little bit more yellow. That blue went a lot further than I thought it would. The lovely thing about acrylics is you can just remove the paint or you can paint over the top as well. So what I'm adding here is a little bit of cyan blue, a touch of pink and a touch of yellow. It's the three primary colours mixed together and then painting it onto the wet paint here just to blend some shadowy colours that are coming through in the background there. Very soft and almost out of focus. I'm adding a little bit of white at the top here, blending it on top of the yellow to really show a strong light above. Um, it'll be really nice in contrast with the daisies as well. So my painting has dried and I'm just using a kind of a greeting card and printing on some light green or light yellow green paint there. It's a white um, with a touch of yellow and a touch of blue. And as you can see there, I'm using my plastic card. Also, it's plastic store card, just getting some darker greens and printing on to the surface there. It's a really effective way of painting stems without the worry of using a brush, but you can also use a brush as well. But it's quite nice, especially if you're a beginner starting out, you can just print those very thin stems there and create quite a nice abstracted background. Um, I'm actually using the plastic card as well to draw with and to pull the paint to create some more details there with the stems. I'm mixing up now a sort of an orangey colour that's the yellow and the magenta that I'm using so I'm basically using just three primary colours the blue the cyan blue which is a cold blue makes lovely greens uh, the magenta and some cadmium yellow and of course white titanium and uh, you can use any pink, any blue, any yellow here. And I'm just painting some blobs for the centres of the daisies, wet on dry with my flat brush. As you see here, I'm not worried about the drawing. I'm not trying to copy the photograph either. I'm just trying to interpret it. So I've got my little circles there or blobs as were as it were. And I'm just painting using this flat sort of half inch brush, painting wet on dry, some white titanium paint and just trying to go round in a circle and trying to vary the size of the petals as well. As you can see, I've been busy here painting the daisies and I'm actually painting some yellow daisies there or other wildflowers using a round brush and the cadmium yellow mixed with some white. And I've just sort of tried to really vary the daisies, the sizes, etc. And I'm just painting some little yellow marks, light yellow marks in the background, just in a very impressionistic style.
I'm just painting a little bit of green now on the back of the daisies here just to bring them to life a little bit using the blue and the yellow painting wet on dry with my small round brush here just finessing a little bit but painting in a very impressionistic style so not putting in too much detail I almost paint like you're half closing your eyes or if you are um, got a camera lens and it's out of focus slightly takes all the pressure off as well that style of painting I'm just painting with a very small thin round brush here some stems using the blue and the yellow I've mixed up the pink and the yellow with a touch of blue to kind of make this brownish color to put the shadow color wet on dry onto the center of the daisies there as well using my flat brush uh, but making sure the lights coming from above so there's light on top of that center as well I've dried my painting and I am painting in some more titanium white on top of the white that I previously painted and you'll find that first layer sort of picks up it's almost a little bit transparent sometimes and you pick up the background color but it's quite good because it's almost like shadow color so this is the light that I'm painting on top of the daisies I will be putting some shadow colors on later as well but I'm continuing on here just painting in details the back of the daisies there painting in stems using my paper card again to print some of these you know colors here using lights lighter colors as well really trying to create lots of variety in these daisies As you saw there I've watered down the white titanium and spattered a little bit to create a little bit of sparkle and light in the background and I'm just mixed up some of the blue and the pink with a touch of yellow to make a dark brown that's why it's so good to use three primary colors you can get such a variety of colors just using three colors and I've painted some darks in the center of the daisies I'm just going back on and just going over some of the petals that look a little bit washed out just to brighten them up a little bit with some white titanium just finessing here again using that dark color the three primaries mixed up together to make that very dark brown using a small round brush painting wet on dry just sort of really getting these centers at the bottom to pop out to really bring them to life you don't have to paint every daisy the same 
but you just want to kind of get that sort of sort of 3D effect by using the darks. And here I am painting on some yellow on top to create a little bit more light. Um, because sometimes you lose that by when you're painting, you, you don't realize you're doing it, um, especially someone like me, because I paint very fast. Um, but uh, I'm using some of the yellow here and a little bit of white just to brighten up these centers at the top. So I'm just sort of finishing off this daisy here on the left hand side, which is obviously an addition, um, a new addition to the photograph. I felt that this daisy here, and I'm adding another little bud here to the left just to balance out the painting. I felt it was too one sided on the right hand side. And this way, having a couple of daisies on the left just sort of creates a little bit of balance that this painting needed. So don't always copy a photograph. Look at your painting objectively to see if you need to make any changes for the painting's sake and not necessarily for the photograph. So I'm just mixing up some light greens here, just finessing, just finishing off these last details in the painting using this white titanium with this quarter inch flat brush. Actually just put on a little bit more titanium there, sort of almost scrubbing it onto the dry surface to blend it through. And it's quite effective and it does create this lovely light above. I thought I'd put a little bit on the right hand side as well and blend through. It's lovely when a painting starts to come to life and when you're just finishing off those little last details and sometimes you lose sort of the definition. So I'm just going back in with some dark green there with my plastic card and just sort of adding a little bit more to some of the smaller little buds there that I forgot about when I painted them earlier. So it's just these last minute little finishing touches and looking at my painting objectively, I decided to make a little bit more of these white marks on the left hand foreground here using my flat uh, sort of quarter inch brush. Just make them a little bit bigger so they are little buds there and painting just a little bit of green underneath. Not too much detail, just enough to sort of balance things out here on the left hand side. Painting a little bit of darks as well on the furthest bud on the left hand side there using a small round brush. I've used a mixture of the blue and the yellow with a tiny touch of the magenta to paint that lovely dark green. And I've decided again to finish off with a spatter. I lost a little bit of my spattering when I went over again with the light at the top there. So one last little sort of spatter with yellow mixed with white just to give it a little bit of sparkle and it's also to stop me from fiddling and I decided just to use the white on its own as well using my small round brush.
So here is the finished painting. I'm really pleased with it. The change in the composition, the building up from a very abstract, light coloured, warm yellow background and then just basically building those daisies, using the plastic card, the paper card, spattering and just having lots and lots of fun. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions about this tutorial, please put them in the comments section below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, why not subscribe to my acrylic painting channel where you will get updates of my latest tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Happy painting. Bye for now.